<laughs> right? It is only one sperm which will be penetrating the ova. There itself, you have won the battle, right? So you have won the battle. Okay, so you yourself are like unique. So it is like you are going to a war without a sword with you, <laughs> right? Oh, yad rakne ke liye both taklif hote the mere ko. Hormonal fluctuations will be there in the entire process of the life. But this is the like you know age where the the fluctuations are in the peak, right? So we need to hold on our consciousness, right? Pre-excitation syndromes like yes, WPW syndrome. Yes, so the impulse to the ventricle is occurring prematurely, <laughs> and you know ventricle is going yes, into sir. a state of arrhythmia, and the patient will die. Okay. So similarly, the relations whatever like are happening, that should not happen prematurely. It should happen appropriately, and at the same time, it should not be late as well, right? There will be apoptosis, right? <laughs> Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rishab and today I have the privilege to interview Dr. Rajesh Gubba, Faculty of Medicine at Nextilo. Dr. Rajesh has made a significant contribution in advancement of general medicine. Let's have a word with him. Thank you sir for joining us today here in our podcast and could you please introduce yourself to our audience. Right, first of all, uh, thank you very much Dr. Rishab for having me. Thank you sir. So, I am myself Dr. Rajesh Gubba, I am the general medicine educator and uh, I am also the practicing cardiologist. So this is my brief introduction. So sir, uh, I have a list of questions which students from all over the globe have sent me. So these are just the questions which students have doubts in subject while studying medicine. So I'll go through the list of questions which I received. So students want to ask you in generally how to approach medicine while studying. Right, so general medicine is like one of the voluminous subjects among all the 19 subjects that you will be preparing for either your NEET PG exam or INACT exam or the FMG exam. Now why it has become so voluminous is because like uh, it is the integration of all the basic subjects. So general medicine is like nothing but it is integration of your physiology, pathology, pharmacology and parts of the microbiology because it is integration of all these subjects that is the reason why it is very much voluminous so how to approach is that like you need to be very much strong in these particular basic subjects mm -hmm. once you are very strong in these basic subjects then reading and understanding of general medicine just becomes a cakewalk for you Mm -hmm. So the approach should be from your basic subjects. Your basics. That's what my second question is. Like the uh, how medicine should be started. It should be started prior to the preclinical subjects, or you can you have to study the preclinical subjects. Right. So if you take uh, like starting of the general medicine, it has to be started like when you are in the second MBBS itself. Like for example, you take in the uh, Indian scenario medical colleges. Like uh, you get the postings of general medicine in the second year itself mm -hmm. like you'll be posted to the general medicine wards in the second year itself mm -hmm. so in the second year of your general medicine like you need not start directly with the chapters of mm -hmm. general medicine mm -hmm. but what is that you need to start in your second year of mbbs is that like you need to start like how to approach the patient so the basic history taking is very very important mm -hmm. in your second year of mbbs so you mean sir that uh, you need not to start uh, medicine directly you need to like start it uh, like in essence from physiology you can correlate the physiology aspect to medicine and not directly to jump directly studying medicine you can start from the second year itself yeah. while correlating it yes it so subject. never jump on to general medicine directly because general medicine is one particular subject like which is like you have a lot of clinicals so it becomes very tempting for the student directly to jump on to the general medicine no, open the book and start the preparation which is not correct so first you need to start your physiology as i have said you thoroughly understand the concepts in the physiology then you read path pharma of that particular topic like for example you take let us just assume cardiology mm -hmm. you take cardiovascular system you read it thoroughly in physio mm -hmm. then you understand the cardiovascular pathology from pathology point of view yes, and then you read pharmacology of that particular cardiology topic mm -hmm. after reading these three cardiology physio cardiology pharma cardiology patho now you read general medicine cardiology chapter then you will really feel the essence of that particular clinical subject yes. so that is the best way of the approaching the general medicine yes sir so so these were the few questions about general medicine now i i, I will ask you some questions related to the exam like exam in general, any exam, uh, rather be FMG or NEET PG, like how to prioritize subjects for such competitive exam, how, uh, like how to prioritize different subjects, these 19 subjects. Right, so see, 
the prioritization uh, in the recent times like you should be it's completely based on what is the weightage of that particular subject in your exams so if you take the clinical subjects like they have a very good weightage for example you take general medicine uh, it has a weightage of nearly around 30 to 40 marks either you take in your neat pg or inict or even your fmg exam also and you take the surgery you take psm you take gynec mm -hmm. these are all the high weightage subjects mm -hmm. so i don't tell that you should read completely only these subjects mm -hmm. but if you ask me like which subject has to be prioritized without leaving for the preparation means then these subjects should be must in your preparation mm -hmm. like medicine mm -hmm. surgery mm -hmm. gynec then psm which is very very important so these are like clinical subjects and even off talent ent mm -hmm. okay when you take like non clinical or paraclinical very important is your path pharma mm -hmm. micro mm -hmm. and at biochem mm -hmm. so these are like major weightage subjects so you have to go to your exam like thoroughly prepared with mm -hmm. these particular subjects okay and so my next question is like how crucial is the time management during the exam like time management during the preparation and time management during the exam itself yeah see like uh, many of the students uh, they have this time crunch while attempting the exam now why do you get this particular time crunch is because you did not give proper exams or proper grant tests during your preparation see during your preparation only theory preparation is not just enough for your exams along with theory you should also give as many number of exams as well as grant test that will help you in your time management in your final exam so if you are just going to the exam like before giving like any grant test you are just going to final exam without giving any particular exams during your preparation so it is like you are going to a war without a sword with you <laughs> right yes, so <laughs> like you have to go like completely prepared yes sir. right yes, so sir. like the complete preparation in the sense like theoretical preparation and as well as the exam preparation as well so you have to give as many number of exams mm -hmm. as possible during your preparation so, time so so you mean that uh, reading notes only doesn't uh, is not going to help you yes, yes so you need to give the grand test you need to solve so many mcqs and yes. you need to co uh, clinically correlate these yes, subjects yes, okay yes 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 and so my next question is how important it is to stay updated with the recent updates and advancement in the guidelines for in the medicine yeah see regarding the general medicine or you take any clinical subjects mm -hmm. when we use the term update the update is mainly related to the treatment aspect mm -hmm. okay because see you don't get any update related to clinical features mm -hmm. right you don't get much update related to the pathophysiology mm -hmm. everything has been done mm -hmm. studied depth until now if at all if any update comes like the update comes in the treatment the update comes in the new investigation so you need to be like updated with what are the new guidelines in the treatment what are the new diagnostic protocols which have been introduced is what you need to learn if any update is there that is very very important because like the examiner will try to ask you the questions from the recent updates so you need to be definitely updated regarding if there is any change in the treatment guidelines of a particular disease so uh, to focus mainly on the treatment yes, and yes. in the uh, new changes which is yes, yes, made yes, okay sir yes so so can you highlight the common pitfalls which student usually make while preparing for the exam yeah so this is very very important question all the students have to listen to this the common pitfalls like uh, what the student faces and because of which he will not be able to clear the exam is as i was just telling you just before giving adequate number of exams see many of the students will just read the theory of particular topic and just be satisfied that okay we are done with this topic that's the biggest mistake mm -hmm. so after reading a topic you have to do multiple choice questions of that particular topic also then only you will understand how the questions can be asked from that theory what you have read mm -hmm. so not doing multiple choice questions or not giving adequate number of exams or not giving adequate number of grant test is one of the very very important pitfall second important pitfall is like the revisions many of the students will think that doing revision is equivalent to time waste okay but you have to ensure that whatever the topic which has been read on the prior day the next day you have to keep at least one or two hours to revise the previous day topics right and by the end of the week like you have to summarize yourself what are the difficult things that i have read in this week mm -hmm. let me just make out 
extra time on that particular difficult things mm -hmm. so adequate number of revisions identifying the difficult area mm -hmm. what you feel in your entire preparation is very very important okay. so if you don't give adequate revisions then again it's a very biggest pitfall and the next important is the lack of confidence in you see what happens is many of the times we start comparing our marks with our colleagues we start comparing our answering in the class with others if we get less marks then compared to our friends if we are not able to answer in the class compared to our friends we feel ourselves low right and that makes you a state of negative mentality and will not progress you in your preparation so what i suggest you is please don't compare yourself with anyone you just be yourself as a unique person right so see already you have won the battle like when you are born like like see for example like uh, if you take the ova in the mother <laughs> right millions of sperms will be going to the ova yes sir. right it is only one sperm which will be penetrating the <laughs> ova there itself you are yeah. won the battle right so you have won the battle okay so you yourself are like unique yes, so just be confident on yourself and then progress your preparation Yes, so these sir. are the common pitfalls many of the students uh, they do face and because of which the preparation does not go very smoothly mm -hmm. so in my personal experience when the exam date was coming near i was very anxious and i thought that i might not pass so i didn't knew that how to control this anxiety do you have any like trick to how to uh, like manage this anxiety issues and sleep issues yes yes so this is uh, another very very important problem many of the students face as the exam is approaching the anxiety level builds up this is like a universal phenomena okay even the topper who is going to get who will be the topper in that particular exam you just go and ask him like how is your preparation he says are theek nahi hua yaar aur thoda dang se padhna tha nahi kiya hai so everyone will have this in their mind okay but as i have said you first and foremost you have to believe in yourself the self confidence is very very important right and next is if you have given adequate number of revisions then the level of anxiety it is less so during your preparation itself your revisions should be a very good number of revisions minimum by the time you go to the exam you have to give almost four to five revisions of the entire 19 subjects mm -hmm. then you will feel confident in yourself the level of the anxiety will be slightly less okay sir. okay so what i mean to say basically is revisions revisions, revisions are very very important mm -hmm. so when i was preparing for the exam i was like gaining weight and anxiety so i want to ask you that how important is exercise yoga and meditation during the exam right yes for your uh, preparation of the exam uh, two important things which are required is one is your mental peace and second is your physical stability these two are very important for your preparation if you are not mentally peace you cannot prepare properly if you are physically unstable then you cannot prepare properly now in order to achieve that mental peace right the maneuvers or i say like the things that we can do is like one is yoga and then meditation, meditation mainly like aerobic exercises aerobic. you know aerobic exercises they improve the oxygenation and they improve the cerebral perfusion and that will give you the sense of the happiness mm -hmm. and mainly if you take exercise mm -hmm. there is lot of endorphins which are being released i am telling you you just practice this one day you do your preparation with adequate amount of exercise you get up in the morning do 30 minutes of brisk exercises and then go ahead with your preparation that should be your one day the other day without any exercise like as a routine thing like what you do you just do your preparation you yourself will make out lot of difference whenever you we do this exercise the happy hormones yes. that is endorphins Endorphin. are being released yes, so that will give you a sense of happiness yes, and a push to go ahead with your preparation yes, so this exercise yoga meditation they are very much required mm -hmm. during our preparation but usually most of the times what do we feel is we feel like we are wasting much of our time in this right yes, so sir. the half an hour whatever we are spending on this yoga meditation we want to revise something or we want to read something yes sir but you have to understand that the half an hour that you are spending on your exercise yoga meditation that will give your productivity almost two times mm -hmm. that is very very important sir talking of mental peace i have a special question this is uh, i'll tell you an incident there was a friend of mine who used to study a lot 
he used to study like 15 to 16 hours a day who used to give all the grand tests he used to score 200 plus but he failed in the exam and the reason was the relationship issues he recently had a breakup before the exam and he was not feeling peaceful so <laughs> this is a special question and uh, some of you might also be facing this issue so how to manage this situation sir right so i definitely I have to answer this uh, properly and thoroughly because this is another uh, universal problem I say, <laughs> right? So, uh, right, you know, see, like uh, this is the age, like uh, 20 to 30 years of age is that particular age group, like uh, two things, right? If you work hard, you will be able to build up your career properly. And if you are like deviated during the same age, like uh, you will be completely destroying your entire career. So you can build the career, you can destroy the career also during this particular age group, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, a lot of hormonal fluctuations also are in the peak during this particular age group. Hormonal fluctuations yes, will be there sir. in the entire process yes, of the life, but this is the like, you know, age where the the fluctuations are in the in peak, the peak. Yes, right? Sir, yes, so we sir. need to hold on our the consciousness, mm -hmm. right? Yes, we sir. need to be like mentally stable on this particular relations issue. Yes, See, sir. everything has to occur at appropriate time, yes, sir. right? It should not be like premature, like, see, for example, you take uh, uh, in cardiology, like we have pre excitation syndromes like yes, WPW syndrome. Yes, sir. So, the impulse to the ventricle is occurring prematurely. <laughs> and you know, ventricle is going yes, into sir. a state of arrhythmia and the patient will die. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, similarly, the relations, whatever like are happening, that should not happen prematurely. Exactly. It should happen appropriately. appropriately. And at the same time, it should not be late as well, <laughs> yes, right? Sir. There will be apoptosis, <laughs> yeah. right? So you need to be very careful yes, when to start the relations, yes, right? Sir. So majority of the students, like this is a very key issue. You need to hold on your mental consciousness very stable during this particular age group. So you put your extreme efforts during this particular age group, mm -hmm. like you can achieve whatever you want in the next later part of your life. So be like mentally very strong and uh, don't go beyond this particular relations now itself at this particular age group, right? And don't give, don't take the uh, rare examples. Mera ek senior tha, right? So he was along with a girl, uska shadi hua hai, right? They are settled very nicely now. That happens very rarely, yes, right? So out of 100, it will be like one. one. Remaining 99 yes. will be like breakups That's only, true. okay? So... So like just take care of your career yeah. very strongly at this moment of time and progress properly. So we should prioritize our career over relationship. Yes, yes, That's yes. how we can manage this. Right, so, right. so my last question is about your personal inspiration. How you like, what was your inspiration to become a doctor and a teacher and a great teacher actually? Yeah. Okay. So like, uh, see, uh, to become the doctor was like, um, I did not have the personal dream of uh, becoming doctor. It was like uh, imprinted or incorporated by my father. So my father used to do a lot of social activities mm -hmm. where there was requirement of doctor in the rural places, okay. right? And where he used to call the doctors and for the social activity. Mm -hmm. So once he thought like, uh, I'm calling doctors for this social activity and all. So what he thought was like, why don't, why don't I make my son itself a doctor mm -hmm. so that like he will be of use for me for all my social activities. Mm -hmm. That was his instinct, mm -hmm. which he like uh, incorporated into me and that made me to just go into this doctor mm -hmm. okay now becoming the teacher yes this was my passion see once i have joined my first mbbs like uh, during this uh, anatomy dissections mm -hmm. like over the stretcher i used to teach a particular topic or a particular organ to my colleagues mm -hmm. taki like anatomy jaisa subject hai, it is very much volatile yes, sir. Yes, sir. Aap zyada revise karoge, then it will be like imprinted into your brain yes sir. like for example you take urinary bladder Right, uska 19-20 ligaments hai. So, oh, yaad rakhne ke liye bhot taklif hote te mere ko. So then what I used to do is, I used to call my colleagues, then I used to teach all these ligaments. Then that used to become like a cakewalk for me. Right, and when I entered into second year, I used to teach my first year uh, juniors. When I entered into third year, I, I was teaching my first and second year. What was my instinct at that particular time is, I teach more, right, it will be like more and more revision for me. It will be easy for me for my post-graduation. Yes, that nice was my instinct. Yeah. But whatever I have done during my MBBS career, mm -hmm. that made me to become like a good teacher in front of you yes, all now. Yes, sir. So to summarize everything what uh, what sir has said, uh, you need to do more and more revisions. That's right, sir. Yes. And yes. then you need to solve MCQ, a number of MCQs. You need to give grant 
and you need not to compare yourself with others because everyone is a unique personality yes. and you need not to compare your scores as well so you need to focus on your career over your relationship i thank dr rajesh gubba for his valuable time and experience it has been a pleasure learning from his wealth of knowledge and experience i hope this conversation will be useful to our listeners thank you goodbye das vidaniya until we meet again